Blade train, blade train, blade train. Hey guys, it's me, Shelton, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Today, um, I'm joined by all of our dogs, Blaine, Blaine, Pixie, Phineas, Snickers, and Fiona. So today I sort of wanted to sit down with our dogs. Um, we have so many of them, and I sort of wanted to talk about each and every one of them and like um, what the dogs do during the day and just stuff like that and just like um, who owns each dog and stuff like that and why we have five dogs. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm going to start this video off with Phineas. He is our oldest dog. And I also like tell the dog's birthday. So his birthday is um, July 3rd. Um, he is turning 12 on July 3rd. So he is um, 11 right now. But Phineas is um, one of the best dogs out there. He was a guide dog for the blind. So um, he helped um, blind people out when he was younger. Except he got career change. So he never got to um, actually lead blind people okay the dogs are running around um but yeah phineas is um one of the best dogs um and he has a uh, very few gray um for an 11 year old lab and he's just a super cute he's also super laid back and so like you won't see this dog really roughhousing very much but we love snuggling at nighttime and stuff like that. And he is just a really awesome dog. Aren't you, Phineas? And no, we do not have a Ferb. We just have a Phineas. So in the first video I did, I think like back in January, um, you guys just saw like uh, the dog's names and I also did some stuff on the cats. I don't know yet if I'm gonna include the cats in this video. But you guys don't really know much about our dogs. So this is our next dog, Blaine. He is my dad's dog for sure. He will, um, like, he has, like, really bad anxiety. So whenever my dad leaves to go to work and stuff, he will freak out. And he does not want to leave my dad ever. Um, he is five years old. And he also got career changed from... The guide dog facility along with Phineas here, but we're glad we have him now. He um, loves to lean on people. Like if you touch him, yep, here he comes. And he'll basically like a lot of times he'll just like sit on people and stuff. And yeah, he's definitely my do dad's dog. And his birthday is um, October 22nd. And I think he's five years old now, but he's stepping on me now. Blade train, Blaine train, Blaine train. So Blaine also has some nicknames. We call him Blade, Blaine, um, Blaine train. And yeah, he has lots of nicknames that we call him and he responds. And we've also been uh, doing this new thing with him where we'll say kitty and he will be like really weird like kitty like he doesn't know what to think of the word kitty kitty yep <laughs> so he just ran <laughs> oh we have a fight going on here so fights with our dogs they never get like physical and stuff <laughs> I think they're just being weird right now. But Pixie, are, um, she loves to like run around and like go crazy and chase the other dogs. Flame. Wait, come here. Okay, so the next dog is definitely my dog. Her name is Pixie. 
and she is one years old. Hi, Fiona. She is a she's a year old, and she is very psycho. Um, she has been having a lot of troubles with potty training. When every time I leave the room, she has this like really weird like anxiety stuff, and then she'll like take a number two for no reason. But she's our youngest dog. We got her March of last year. Um, we call her Pixie, Pixie Potty because she uses the bathroom a lot. We call her lots of other things too. Come here. And she's our uh, longest hair dog. And she is so short, isn't she? So this next dog um, next to me is Snickers. Um, he's a super sweet dog. He howls at sirens when they come by. Um, we got him in California. That's where he was from. But we got him in uh, Washington. He is a really cute dog. He is eight years old and his birthday, I don't know his actual birthday, but we know he's eight years old. I think it's sometime in December. But he is a really awesome dog. He's a Beagle Chihuahua mix. So he's called a Cheagle. He doesn't shed a lot. Right now he's shedding. And he's married to that a girl over there, Fiona. Fiona, come here. So this next dog is Fiona. Um, she is the sweetest dog in the entire um, family of dogs. She and Snickers are married. And they have marriage problems all the time in our house, like barking and all sorts of stuff. She is, yeah, definitely one of the sweetest dogs. She is a dash hound, um, chihuahua. We are pretty sure. She's a really adorable dog. She is five years old, I think. She's four or five, and her birthday is sometime in April. We're not really sure. But these two um, definitely love each other. And the dogs don't get to be out here very often, so they're, like, really enjoying the grass and stuff. I'm having marital problems here. So our dogs don't like really fight a lot. Like in the house, it can get a little bit crazy. They'll run around in our house, like in our family room area, but they don't really like, um, go at it. Oh, and Snickers is going in the plants now. Anyways, they don't like really go like really crazy. Cause they all love each other. When we got a pixie, she was so scared of all the other dogs. Um, she was just a puppy at the time. She was like a couple months old. She might have been a couple weeks old. But she was really scared. Oh yeah, and Snickers also likes this thing when I do it. I just rub his back. And Fiona hates Oreo, our uh, tuxedo cat. She chases him out of the room like every single time he comes in. Oh, hi, Phineas. It, it is super annoying, and they bark. We also have baby gates in our house, and they keep the dogs from going in the other rooms. And we only have, like, two rooms in our house that they're allowed to go in. Uh, this room here, and then the kitchen area. And then this is the little's bedroom. That was my old bedroom. So, um, Snickers and Fiona sleep up there. I can't even remember the dogs. My pixie's trying to dive in the pond. Snickers is over there doing who knows what. Oh, he's digging a hole. So I came inside now and pixie is like waiting for me. Oh. 
Okay, well, she normally waits for me, like, right um, at the edge of that gate there. And so I'm coming in my room now, and I'm going to introduce you guys to cats. All right, so I've come into my room now, and I'll let you introduce you to Oreo. Oreo is definitely my cat. He does not really like being on camera right now. But he is a tuxedo cat. He is about, um, I think he's eight years old too. He um, loves attention and he is a really adorable kitty. We've had him for seven years now. And he has the loudest purr I've ever heard in my life. Our piano teacher that comes over here, she always is like, man, that cat has a really loud purr and he does. Don't you hear him? But at night, sometimes, sometimes he'll come to my room. This might be gross for some of you. And he comes and he'll start licking my hair to wake me up at like 5.30 or 4.30 in the morning. It's annoying, but I love him. His birthday is sometime in uh, December, I think. And we got him also in Washington. But we call him Oreo or... Um, I don't really call him a lot of things. I just call him Oreo. But he is definitely my kitty. And you'll see him in a lot more in future videos. So the last and final animal that um, I'm going to be talking about is Flufferson. He is a Norwegian for forest cat. He does not like being in my room very much. But, um, Oreo and him used to get in fights all the time when we got Oreo. He was here before him. Or no. Other way around. Flufferson is one of the sweetest cats we've ever owned. And he is so soft. That's why he's called Huckleberry Finn McFlufferson. He is just a very adorable cat. He's trying to escape really badly. <laughs> yeah, he is a very awesome cat. He's running away now, but he is like the cutest cat and the fluffiest cat we've ever seen. And he's just so awesome. And I keep saying that over and over again. Um, he is uh, nine years old, I think now. And um, his birthday's in November. I also got him in November. And so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, sorry that Flufferson could appear on camera for very long, but my mom is playing music downstairs. Don't want to get copyrighted. And then my dad came in, and he was standing at the mirror staring at me. And things... Yeah, that's how um, we do this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed.